Okay everyone, welcome back. So as you can see, we have the wood stove in the corner. And I was going to put it on the other side, on the other corner. Um, and I was thinking about actually putting it in the center and kind of using it around the wood, around the forge basically. And the reason why I was going to do that is because I want to run that chimney up pretty much the center of the gable end because the problem I have is that anytime you have a really steep pitch roof, and I've got a 12-12 and 12-12 and higher, the distance your chimney has to be above the steel roof or your roof line is a lot. And it goes up uh, fourfold every time you go down one foot down the roof line of the chimney. And so I need to get as close to the peak of the chimney on the gable end as possible so I don't have to have six feet of chimney sticking up there in the middle of nowhere because if I do that then I have to have um, a roof brace, basically a brace on the chimney that screws to the steel roof and I don't want to get on the steel roof again. So I'm trying to get the chimney up the center of the gable end basically and so that's why we have this configuration right here. Um, so I'm going to put it in the corner and I'm going to come up four feet and then I'm going to angle over about 45 degrees for a couple of lengths of pipe and then out the wall. I'm hoping that, I know that I have to go 90 degrees out the wall anyway and I don't think that this 45 degree bend is probably going to affect the draft too much. Um, I guess we'll find out. So that's what we're going to do. This way I can get the stove in the corner and get it out of my way because in all reality I need room for the forge. And I don't really want to put it anywhere else in the barn because if I do that then it's going to be in the way of the barn doors or it's going to, the chimney is going to be going up the front of the barn which I don't want. If I put it on the two soffit ends well then I'm going to have that problem I have of of a giant piece of chimney sticking up in the middle of nowhere. So it has to be on this gable end somewhere. Space is limited. This is the best solution. This is what we're going to do. And I'm pretty sure it's probably going to work just fine. So the top of the stove here has got an oval outlet. And I was trying to figure out, I was trying to actually find an oval piece of pipe, an adapter to fit into that stove. And then I just kind of started looking at it and I had the six inch it takes a six inch chimney and I just took a piece of six inch chimney and squished it to an oval and shoved it in the hole and it actually fits perfect. So I think that's probably what you're supposed to do. I've never had a wood stove with an oval opening before. All the wood stoves I've ever owned have all had round openings. And I just kind of assumed they made an adapter for that. Well, it turns out you just squish down your pipe and shove it in there and it actually, it fits like it's supposed to be that way. So, who knew? Anyway, so we're going to start messing with this chimney a little bit trying to figure out exactly how to get the right configurations with the right pieces of pipe to go out the wall where I want it to and then we'll be outside hooking up the exterior part of the chimney and going straight up the gable end so should be interesting
Okay, well, this is a moment of truth. First of all, let's see if it drafts. So it is drafting, which is good. The only paper I had was the instructions for the woods for the chimney. <laughs> okay, so the chimney's drafting really well, as you can see. But the instructions for the chimney are not burning very well. So we're going to give them a little help here. Well, there it is, all installed, the Upland 27. It's probably going to take the edge off in the barn. Um, you know, this barn is not insulated, and as you can see by the snow on the ground behind the wood stove in the earlier portions of the video, the barn is not exactly 100% sealed up. Uh, the battens do leak a little bit, especially when you have uh, hard driving winds and snow. So we may have to address that problem in the future. I don't know if I really want moisture getting in here at all. I wasn't too worried about it at first, but we do want to protect the timber frame. So we may have to deal with that problem in the future. But in any event, as leaky as this building is, since it's not insulated and it's not really truly sealed up, I think this thing will take the edge off pretty good. And it's burning great. It's drafting very well. I was a little concerned because the chimney is so big, but it's drafting great. It's nice and warm. It's not leaking anywhere. Uh, the chimney's off gassing a little bit, but that'll happen the first time we do the burn. Um, we put in the heat shields on the areas of the barn that are a little bit too close to the chimney. We may expand those heat shields in the future, but I just wanted to get those up real fast so I could light this thing up and see how it does and it works great so anyways I'm pretty excited we've got a little bit of heat in here to take the edge off now we can kind of get some projects done in here and uh, get a few things done on the new building that we're going to build we'll talk a little bit more about that next time wood stove install not that complicated a little bit hairy on the final two pieces of the chimney but other than that it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, pretty excited about this wood stove. Thanks for tuning in you guys. Smash the like button if you like the video. Be sure and share it with a friend that maybe has not seen what we're doing around here. We got lots of stuff coming up. Lots of stuff inside here. Got to set up the blacksmith shop yet. We're still going to build that other building. I'm pretty sure I can squeeze that in before winter really sets in. It's not supposed to be here just yet. And I think we've got some pretty nice weather coming up pretty soon. So anyway, share and like and be sure and check out Instagram and Facebook. we got other stuff on there as always. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.